Hi guys, today I'm going to make one of the most requested recipes on the channel, which is chicken biryani. I'm going to start on my chicken cacciatore. Um, I love fried chicken. Delicious. Simply slice your chicken. We resign to the fact that lives will be lost to satisfy cravings, no matter the cost. The voices will die, no screams to be heard. Though the horror goes on, few people care. Grown for our pleasure, tweaked for good measure, slaughtered at leisure for a culinary treasure. Who said it was right to create life to take it? to slit the lamb's throat, to grill, fry, or bake it. Take newborns from mothers, slaughter cows whilst with baby, all for the sake of sausage and gravy. Grown for our pleasure, tweaked for good measure, slaughtered at leisure for a culinary treasure. Watch the beast struggle whilst its throat's being slit, improperly stunned, struggling in agonizing pain falling into the blood pit thrown live into the scalding tank soon this pain must seize poor innocent never caused harm on her vile path to everlasting peace grown for our pleasure tweaked for good measure slaughtered at leisure for a culinary treasure maybe they haven't died in vain some good may come from all of this pain. Might end up in a Jamie Oliver recipe. James Aspie took a vow of silence for 365 days to promote compassion to animals. To make the challenge. My name is Sean, and I'm from the same planet as you, so I consider myself to be your neighbor as well as your brother. And because of those platforms, I hope that you guys will be kind enough to let me speak from my heart. Why did you do this? Thank you for asking. Hey! I come here today with anger inside of me, but also understanding. And I come here with sadness, but also hope. Yeah, great. Okay, the reason I took the vow of silence was to raise awareness for the voiceless victims of this planet. The animals. The animals. Because five years ago, like a lot of the people walking by, I had no clue. I said that I loved animals, and then I turned around and I paid someone else. So, to kill them so that I could have food or a bit of entertainment or something to wear. Uh, why would it matter? The question is not whether, whether they poison, but can they suffer? Yeah, I think that's, that's crucial. Yes. We all say we love animals and we all are against animal cruelty, but we pay people to mutilate, torture and slaughter animals. And it's not for any necessity, it's not because we need to for our health, it's just because we like the way they taste. And that's it. From me. And I never stop to think that these some things are someone with feelings and intrinsic value and Thanksgiving dinners sad and thankless, Christmas dinners dark and blue, when you stop and try to see it from the turkey's point of view. Sunday dinner isn't sunny, Easter feasts are just bad luck, when you see it from the viewpoint of a chicken or a duck. Oh how I once loved tuna salad, pork and lobsters, lamb chops too, till I stopped and looked at dinner from the dinner's point of view. <laughs>